Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley here, and this is the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Photography Website with SmugMug in 90 Minutes. Welcome to step 4B, and in this step, we are going to continue customizing our site with SmugMug's Easy Customizer. After we got uh, through the last video, we got all the way to the end of uh, setting up our fonts and our colors for our text, and uh, now we're just going to finish off this page, so it should just take a few minutes here. Under boxes, uh, boxes are um, customizing these things here. So if I wanted to use a, a custom background like black, I can. Uh, but I don't want to. <laughs> I actually really like this gradient that SmugMug has here uh, by default. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. And I don't mind the borders either. So I'm going to leave that as well. Under photos, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, minimize a couple of these to give us some room so that we can see what we're doing. Header, background, text. Okay, so we did boxes. Photos, photos, I'm actually going to, uh, well, let's just show you what, what the photo boxes look like. Um, uh, they're, certainly, they're certainly not bad. Um, for some reason, I feel like I, 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 uh, I want to change it. I've, I've changed it on the other site, so I'm going to go ahead and change this. It's, it, this one's definitely up to you, whatever you want to do, but I'll tell you what I do. So this one's got a nice gray, but I'm going to go with a nicer gray, <laughs> if there's such a thing. 919191 is what I'm going to use, and it lightens that one up, and I'm, I think I'm going to darken this one up. So I'm going to use 393939. There we go. And uh, there we go. And then the right-click message. So I was talking about this in a previous step where SmugMug's got uh, built-in protection if I go into a gallery or someone goes in my gallery and they uh, they like this this photo here so they want to go ahead and download it well if they right click on that like you can normally right click on images online um, and then save them to your desktop uh, this right click protection comes up and it says the Johnny or the page at the at Johnny Walker photography dot dot com says did you know you can purchase digital downloads through the buy button? Cool, eh? <laughs> so instead of saying this image is copyright, but blah, 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 I'm trying to keep the language kind of soft to say, yeah, I know you were trying to grab this image, but I've got it set up so that you can't, and maybe you can choose to buy a digital download instead. So it kind of encourages somebody to, uh, to go ahead and do that. So we're going to copy and paste this language. And whatever language you want to use, you can put in there. But I said, do you know you can purchase digital downloads through the buy button? Cool A. <laughs> I say A because I personally am Canadian, but uh, Johnny Walker here is from the Antarctic. Well, <laughs> getting ahead of myself. Okay, so we're gonna go paste that in, that in there, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna put quotations around this because I think it would uh, look better. So we're gonna do that. Quotations on either end. Okay, so our right message is or our right click message is complete. Now we're going to go into the footer. So the footer is where we've got uh, this banner here and some information from SmugMug. So I'm going to use a custom footer, and I'm going to use an image. So you can see the uh, the favicon image that we used earlier is now showing up fine. So that's just some SmugMug just has that. So even when we um, upload, and this might by the time you watch this video, uh, SmugMug might have fixed this little bug. But when I upload my banner, it's going to show up as that thin that thin uh, uh, that thin thin thing as well. So I'm going to go find my banner, which is right here, and I'm going to upload that. And I'm probably going to well, I might, I might end up doing a separate video um, as part of this tutorial, kind of separate, but um, not as part of the steps, but as a separate little um, piece of information or a tutorial that will show you how I create a banner for my site. But um, I figure a lot of photographers already are fairly decent at uh, um, web graphics, so you might already know how to do that stuff. But uh, if you're interested, send me uh, send me a message or put a comment on my uh, on the tutorial here. And if you're interested in seeing how I create my um, oops, how I create my banner, then uh, I can do that. I can set up a separate tutorial for that. Okay, we want to center the footer and the banner, and uh, 
Oh, I think this was blank before. I had to redo this, but I think this was blank before. So I'm going to blank that out again and show you what we're going to do. So we want our banner to be clickable. So we want to uh, to head over here to our homepage link. I'm going to go right click on that. I'm going to go copy the link address. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to paste that because we want the banner to point to our homepage. Custom size, I'm going to leave that. And then the last thing we're going to change here is our homepage show usernames homepage so all that is uh, let me see if I can find our site all that is is this text right here for some reason it's it's on by default with uh, smugbug and we want to turn that off so I'm gonna click that off and now when I go publish I'm gonna go OK I'm just gonna click out of that one and I'm gonna go back to our homepage Click the home, home, my home page there. So there's our new site. So we've got a nice uh, banner. We've got uh, we've kind of cleaned it up a lot. We've got our new text and some of that stuff. And if we go into visitor view, uh, we can see that we've got our uh, things are looking pretty clean. Now we're well on our way to creating um, uh, Z website, which is this website here. And uh, there we go. So that's the end of step four B. Uh, we're now at this point and I believe in the next video I'm going to show you how to create a portfolio gallery out of the photos that we've already uploaded to our site and then we're going to put that photo gallery link into our nav bar. So that'll be uh, step five. All right, we'll see you in the next video.